When it comes to dirty restaurants, we always ask the tough questions for you. CBS Atlanta, in fact, is the only local TV station to grill restaurant managers and owners every week about failing health inspection reports. Consumer investigator Adam Murphy dishes out this week's scores in our exclusive restaurant report card. I should be wearing gloves. Well, right now, I'm not preparing food. When you're handling food, though, you have to wear gloves. CBS Atlanta News caught this DeKalb County restaurant owner red-handed. I mean, I just noticed these guys working back here a minute ago without any gloves on. But you do wear gloves, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yes. Zuka Bar and Pizzeria in downtown Decatur failed a recent health inspection with 67 points in a U. The report says food was not protected from contamination. Raw scallops were stored with noodles and pasta, plus pizza toppings and cheese were not properly covered. Do you think this will ever happen again? I guarantee it won't happen again. And the owner kept his word. Zuka management picked up 98 points in an A on a reinspection. In Powder Springs, Johnny Steaks and Barbecue scored only 60. 9 points in a year. The report says fries and onion rings were at unsafe temperatures. Plus, there were numerous bowls and plates that were stored with clean dishes that had food debris on them. In Norcross, we want to update you on Kohinoor Indian Restaurant. Last week, inspectors took photographs of rodent droppings on the storage rack and goat heads in the freezer. As a result, the health department shut down the restaurant. Do you know why there were goat parts stored in the freezer? I, I don't know, sir. Kohinoor Indian Restaurant remains closed this week. In Marietta, New China Buffet on Roswell Road is still trying to recover after scoring only 25 points on a recent inspection. They had several food items at the wrong temperature. Plus, the manager failed to clean the thermometer when we put them on the spot. You went from chicken to corn without cleaning the thermometer. That's cross-contamination. New China Buffet picked up 79 points and a C on a reinspection. Elsewhere, we have an update on the Quality Inn restaurant in Cartersville. Do you have a rat problem here? Not that I know of. I don't see any. The Bartow County restaurant on South Dixie Avenue has reopened after receiving a score in the 20s four months ago. The Quality Inn restaurant cleaned up their act and picked up 90 points in an A on a reinspection. In Cherokee County, Philly Connection on Highway 92 in Woodstock did very well with 95 points in an A. And La Bella Pizza on Sandy Plains Road in Marietta received a perfect score. The next time you dine out, be on the lookout for health violations. And if you see one, let me know about it. You can email me at adam.murphy at cbsatlanta.com or look me up on Facebook. Adam Murphy, CBS Atlanta News.